Okay, here we have our scanner and we're reading some data here. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to special test. We'll click on that and you see this non-continuous test mode 6. We're going to click on that. Mode 6 is a kind of a hidden portion of memory that the computer uses to store information that it cannot put for a check engine light. And I'll explain to more in a second. So we're going to hit this. And yes, we know things are a little bit invalid if the computer isn't ready, but it is. We go to there. We're going to wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. Now you see here, failed, failed, failed. These are tests that the computer has ran and we have failed. And I say tests, it's more of, it's watching data. And when data exceeds a limit or is the minimum limit has been uh, exceeded, then it will register as a fail. But we know we have a misfire, so we're gonna go down to TID, which is test identification number 53. There's 53. Now you see the 01, 02, 03, 04. These are each individual cylinders. Okay, up to 08 there. So we're going to look at cylinder number 8. Misfire cylinder number 8 data type A misfire rate. If you see here, our maximum limit is 14848. The numbers don't, or what the numbers mean, doesn't matter. It's the limit of the number. So we have a measured value of 817. That's kind of far away. And if you see, it says passed. Now we're going to exit that one. Go up to cylinder number 7. Cylinder number 7, measured value, 0. So that cylinder didn't register any misfires. Let's go up and look at number 6 here. Oh, look at that, big number. Still, not exceeding the maximum limit, but it has measured a misfire. And that is why you will not have a check engine light for a misfire on a Ford. It has to like be a constant, massive misfire before it can reach that maximum limit and exceed it and then the check engine light will come on. So if you see here we have misfires but it still passed the result test. And that's how we find a misfire on a Ford using mode 6 data. Thank you.